Uniformity, what a simple sounding word with so many complexities attached to it. You can see the need for uniformity in certain human endeavors. Health and safety regulations, for example, one would like to think that we've learned from past mistakes and moved on to raise the bar, set standards so that planes don't crash and ships don't sink and healthcare actually heals and we don't poison people with our food and so on. It'd be nice to think that we could create uniformity in certain other human endeavors like human rights and women's rights, for example. But here's where you start running into complexity. Because now you're talking about the greater world and you're talking about different climates and cultures and perspectives and people with different needs. And so what works for me doesn't necessarily work for you. So an excellent TED Talk by Ernesto Zeroli. He was talking about his early work in Italian NGOs in Africa and about $3 trillion being wasted and every single effort failing because of this paternalistic idea that one system works for all we know what's best for you, we're going to civilize you. <clears throat> Talked about this particular incident where they went there and they were teaching the natives how to grow tomatoes and zucchinis and the natives were lukewarm about this at best. But the Italians persisted and they grew this marvelous crop with these huge tomatoes and then overnight these hippos came through and ate the entire thing, destroyed it. And then Esto and his friends turned to the locals and said, look what's happened and the locals said, yeah, we tried to tell you, but you wouldn't listen. That's why we can't do that here, hippos. <clears throat> Look at the greater world, and you can see this diversity of species that grew out of having to develop and adapt and survive in all of these different climates out there. Look at any societal group, the larger the better, and you're going to see the need for specialists. This diversity that is created because you need individuals that do specific tasks that contribute to the greater whole you end up with weird specialties like my own police dispatch you know here I am an adrenaline junkie multitasking at light speed when most of the rest of the world is asleep <clears throat> but you're going to see diversity and it's just the way of the world and yet I run into people all the time into organizations that persist in this idea that because this system works for me it must work for everyone you know, this paternalistic, I know what's best for you, one size fits all, one system thing. And basically it comes down to one word, laziness. Because they figure, well, this works for me, so why should I make any kind of effort to do anything different? Everyone else can be like me. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to waste my time taking the time, the effort, the responsibility to try and understand these other groups. They can be like me. And the problem with that invariably is these people run into conflict with these other groups that they don't understand and end up wasting more time than ever trying to deal with these conflicts, which can turn nasty. Even worse, you get individuals who try to accumulate power around themselves by cultivating this them versus us, my way or the highway, if you're not with me, you're the enemy. Eliminate all opposition. And how many billions of people have died in the name of religion and honor and politics with that as an excuse? I tell you, if you have a leader that does not support diversity, celebrate diversity, help create diversity, then they are no leader. They are a despot and they do not deserve your support, period. So go out there and engage in interfaith dialogue and get to know your neighbors and celebrate diversity and by all means celebrate pagan pride gay pride any pride celebrate your identity but recognize that other people have theirs and their perspectives too and that's what i mean when i say go out there and be glorious